So family style is a great practice to do in your program to support healthy eating. It introduces and encourages children to new foods. It can be used as a tool to expose children to challenging foods. One thing that you can do is serve broccoli first before the chicken, fruit, bread, and milk and other items so that you can support exposure and healthy food eating. Children are more likely to go for the foods they're used to first. So serving that challenging item beforehand can help them try it before they're too full from their favorite foods. Family style also encourages teachers to model healthy eating. It provides opportunities for nutrition education. It also teaches serving sizes by the use of measuring cups. It offers variety of healthy foods. It teaches food safety because children have to wash their hands before and after and are taught to keep their hands clean and avoid touching other things like toys throughout the mealtime. So healthy menus are another great tool. You can partner with your local organizations, CACFP representatives, RD nutritionists, to come up with healthy menus and options if you don't already have the resources. There's also a ton of healthy menu examples online as well. So some healthy menu recommendations. It is recommended to use the USDA guidelines for planning a healthy menu. You want to limit juice, only serving it once per week. Offer appropriate serving sizes for the age being served. So consider the recommended guidelines for the age groups. You wanna serve more vegetables during meals. You can now serve two vegetables rather than a fruit and a vegetable reducing that sugar intake and promoting vegetables. You can offer fresh fruits and vegetables at snack versus packaged convenient items. There's also great packaged items that are now healthier, made with whole grains, even vegetables, baked, low sodium, and reduced sugar options. So look out for things, for new things like that. And then we can also make water available throughout the day especially when children are playing outside in um, high temperatures and are sweating a lot, that hydration is very important. So here's an example of a healthy menu that we use in our UPO centers. We do whole grains whenever possible, and we strive to serve as many fresh items as we can. We also participate in a farm to school program to support local farms and exposure to healthy fresh foods in children. So a question for you all, what are some things you're doing in your facilities to promote healthy eating? Some things can be serving more fruits and vegetables, serving less juice, we're using more fresh produce instead of canned. Just think about that for a second. So nutrition education can support healthier habits. It can be used as a strategy for picky eating. It encourages a variety of foods. It encourages um, and regulates mealtime routines. It builds a schedule. It can be used to role model social norms. It can be used for exploration of other cultures. It can be used as a family and engagement tool, so get the family involved during mealtime. It can be a strategy to support children's needs. So how can we enhance nutrition education? We can create plans to allow for children to explore textures, tastes, and smells of new foods. We can integrate nutrition into the daily curriculum. 
Practice fine motor skills by sorting play foods or sorting plush foods by color. Build gross motor skills with a class garden. We can reinforce colors and shapes with fresh fruits and vegetables. And we can build language skills by asking children to describe new foods. Nutrition can be made a part of any time throughout the day. It doesn't have to fall on Nutrition Wednesdays. It can be during arrival time, breakfast, lunch, story time, or even when playing outside. For example, you can promote hydration and water drinking, drinking rather than juice when outside. So question three, why is family style so important? A, it teaches children about why you should eat and why you shouldn't overeat. B, it teaches children that nap time comes after eating. C, it encourages children to new foods, allows for modeling healthy eating, offers variety, and teaches food safety. D, children learn to feed themselves and are encouraged to learn about nutrition on their own. So please answer on the provided SurveyMonkey link.